been chatting and we don't think we actually ever told you guys where we were flying to. It's Mexico, we're in Cancun. <laughs> We've got wheelie bags and you're not even wheeling them. I know. It's broken already. That's not broken. Don't you, don't, <laughs> don't. After three weeks off, we're back. We are flying to the other side of the world, somewhere hot at my request. But first of all, we need to get a bus to the airport. Via dance taxi. It's always free. Come on! Ah. How did you do that? That was easy. Oh, you're just stronger there than I am. There you go. Oh, it's heavy. Thanks. Ah. As you can see, we've got fancy new bags that wheel, as well as a backpack, which I'm so happy about because... What are you doing? I'm trying to get it on. <laughs> ah. Ah. There we go. I'm wheeling mine. These on the bottom for uh, you, please. Okay. Our first coach gets us into central London and it takes about three hours to get there. Then we're getting a second coach to the airport where we're staying in a hotel overnight before our flight. Luckily, we've got lots of snacks for the journey. Sandwich? We've made it to London just after sunset and we've got an hour layover until our next coach. Let's go find somewhere to sit. Thank you. That's yours. It's got sugar in it. I'll say that. <laughs> I hate sugary coffee. There you go. <laughs> we've not even made it to the airport and Izzy's unpacking her bag. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm guessing another jumper. It was so cold on the coach and I only brought three jumpers with me because we're going somewhere very hot. So I'm gonna wear all three of them at once. Should I wear a shirt as well? You don't need that many layers. England is so cold. Is that why we're leaving? <laughs> yes. <laughs> coach departures is a bit further away than we thought so I'm chasing Dale across and down the road. That's the right gate we're supposed to get on, but it's the wrong bus. Half five? Half five. You're going to be on that one on gate number seven that says Worthing. Oh, it's the one at Worthing? Yeah. Cool, thank you. Why does it say Worthing? There we go, calling it. Worthing's, Worthing's the last stop. Is it calling it Gatwick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just can't do buses in the UK? Yes, we just can't read, apparently. <laughs> We've arrived at Gatwick Airport, which, if you don't know English geography, is an airport just outside of London. But we're not flying tonight, we're staying in a hotel because we couldn't get any public transport in the morning. There's a train called the Gatwick Express, but it's closed. Basically everyone's gone down with Covid. Which does mean that we get to stay in a nice, fancy-ish, comfy hotel. <laughs> Dale's parents got us the hotel as a Christmas present, so thank you very much. But I suspect that they also got it for us because they didn't want us waking them up at 4am to get to the airport in time. I think that's probably the more likely reason. <laughs> but thanks anyway. Which way? I don't know. Uh -huh. No, I still don't know. <laughs> it's that way? How do you know? There's a sign behind you. That way it is. <laughs> We're in room 651, and this is a big hotel. The bed is really big, and it looks super comfy. Dale might be going to sleep, but I'm gonna go downstairs and get some food. Food? Yeah, are you hungry? Yes, very. Ah. We're both gonna go downstairs and get some food. Yeah, food. 
You're paying. Oh, okay. The restaurant didn't have any tables free for nearly an hour, so we've got pizzas to take up to the room. We've been watching Harry Potter over Christmas, so we're going to eat our pizzas and finish the last film, and then probably go to bed. So we'll see you tomorrow for a nice and early flight. Even when we're staying right next to the airport, we're still late for check-in. Thank you. So we've just found out that the seats we've been given aren't the seats we've booked. Well, mine is, but the one that Dale booked is different. She gave me 24A and him 24B, when we always pick 24A and 24C so that hopefully no one books the middle seat and basically we get the whole road to ourselves. Normally it works, so Dale has just gone back to ask her about it, but I mean, it's not too big a deal if they can't change it because we're gonna just sit next to each other anyway. So it turns out it's just because the flight's full. They've got a family sitting next to us and legally they need to put them together. So they've just squashed us next to each other. We've still got the window seat though. Window seat. <coughs> We're just about to go through passport control and since they're pretty tight on security here, we're going to put the camera away. We've still got a bit of time before our flight and, oh yeah, Dale was really good at losing sunglasses. We lost like four pairs on our six month trip last time. The first ever pair he lost, it turns out he actually left it at his friends John and Rachel's house, so he picked them up at Christmas. This means that Dale has sunglasses. I, however, do not, so I'm going to go buy some. I'm not buying them from there though. <laughs> <laughs> Sunglass hut. I'm gonna get these ones. They're nice. They're also the most expensive. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> we had a little bit of trouble registering on the Mexican online platform. We think we've now done it and we have to now rush to our gate. Gate closes in five minutes and typically it's the last one. <laughs> we've got about 50 gates to get through. I missed a step onto the last escalator. Mind me to run to keep up. <laughs> ah. Ah. Gate closes in two minutes. Whew. My least favourite thing about British airports is that they tell you the gate's closing immediately and then you get there, there's a long queue. We're going to be waiting at least 10 minutes outside the gate. Whew. Our flight's going to take just under 11 hours, which gives us plenty of time to watch a lot of movies. I've got a few books to read. How many books can you read on one flight? Probably the whole Lord of the Rings. It's a lot of reading. It's a lot of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Sandwiches and a scone with jam and real clotted cream. And of course, 
coffee. After 11 hours, we made it to Mexico. Now we just need to get through immigration and find a form that we're missing because they didn't have enough forms for all of us. So hopefully there are some here. Yeah, and hopefully they'll let us in the country. I'm sure they will. <laughs> thank you. Bye, bye thank you. Thank you. Bye. Before we head through security, we thought we'd quickly give you our thoughts on the flight. My biggest positive, personally, was how well equipped they were. They had loads of stuff to watch on TV, and the seats were really comfy, pillows, headphones. Pretty good for an economy flight. The one thing that I definitely noticed is the amount of food that we were given, and considering it was airplane food, it wasn't actually that bad. They also had an open bar, which we did not expect. We didn't really take advantage of it, but some people were getting absolutely hammered. Which brings me on to my biggest negative, I think because people were getting quite drunk, they weren't wearing their masks. I'd say only kind of half people on the plane were actually wearing masks. And considering that we didn't have to test to come into Mexico or have vaccination certificates, COVID could have been spread around pretty badly during the flight. All in all though, it was a pretty good flight. Yeah, I'd say it was probably the most easy long haul flight I've ever done. And considering it was 11 hours, that's not too bad. But now though, we do need to get through security, as I'm about to show you, we're the only people left here. I'm scared, I'm gonna get arrested for running in the airport. It would not be a very good start for our time in Mexico. <laughs> We've made it through security, and now we just need to try and find our bags on the carousel, and it's very busy in here. <laughs> Bags acquired, and now we just need to figure out how we're getting from the airport to our apartment. So how do we get to our apartment? Apparently there's a public bus, but I'm not sure what time it runs, so let's find that. Hang fire, we still need to complete our customs declaration forms, and luckily there are two left. There you go. Jesus! <laughs> See, here's the dilemma that we have in airports. We don't want to get cash out here because the exchange rate is really bad, but we don't know if we need the cash to get into the city centre. What do you want to do? Get tacos. Okay, we need cash to get tacos, <laughs> so it looks like we're getting cash. <laughs> we're 96 pesos. So right, okay. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Thank you. So we've got our cash and our bus tickets and he said it's just outside so I think that means it's leaving soon. Hopefully we can get into town pretty soon because it's going to take about 30 minutes to get there and I really want to eat some tacos. So the lovely bus driver helped us find where the bus parks and now we're just waiting for it. And we've been chatting and we don't think we actually ever told you guys where we were flying to. It's Mexico, we're in Cancun. <laughs> We've made it into downtown Cancun, but we've still got another 30 minute walk to our apartment. We're back to me not knowing where we are and just following Izzy. Follow me. We're attempting to find our apartment, but Google Maps is currently failing us quite heavily. It keeps changing where it thinks we are, so we just keep going around in circles. I'm trying not to ask Izzy too many questions while she's trying to get us there because she's starting to get a little bit stressed. Any info? That way. That's a bush. Yep, in you go. <laughs> I think it's this way. Oh. I was expecting there to be a key inside, but there's a keypad. <laughs> okay, we're in. 
Although getting from the bus station to our apartment wasn't the easiest, we've made it, and the overall travel day experience the last couple of days has been pretty good. So we're going to end today's video here, and we will see you tomorrow for a surprise episode in Cancun. And I'm happy because they have coffee. I think it's real coffee as well. As opposed to fake coffee? As opposed to instant coffee. Ready? Yeah. After... Bang the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Try that again. Our first coast gets his coast. I can't get the word out. <laughs> coast. Get the word out. Putting your seatbelts on is easy. I'm assuming this isn't the movie you were talking about. Hmm. They don't have Lord of the Rings on here. Or Harry Potter. But they do have The Hobbit. <laughs> I just opened the hand sanitizer and it's gone everywhere. Well, at least the walls will be clean now. No, it's happened again. The same thing happened to my hand cream and it has gone all inside my bag. You're going to have to have some now. Did you just simmer me? Yeah, it's not good for your face though, so I'll take it back. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks.